Hey guys and girls and welcome back to the number one channel on real estate. Now before we get started make sure to hit that like button and if you enjoy the video make sure you subscribe to be part of the daily hit family. Now let's get back to the video. When you're buying a new home there are so many things to consider that it can be hard to know what really matters. In this video I'm going to tell you about some of the weirdest things that don't matter when you're shopping for a house. Hopefully after watching this video, your head will stop spinning and you'll have a better idea of what's important and what's not in your home buying process. Three things to ignore when home shopping. Are the paint colors unappealing? Is it okay to run on a treadmill in the kitchen? Creepy family portraits in every room? Don't let it bug you. In 15 years of real estate, I can honestly say that I've seen it all. The toilet seats are up in the pictures, shag carpet is covered with dog hair, Bedrooms are being used as marijuana growing centers and avocado green appliances from the 70s. Before showing their properties, sellers are not obligated to make them into their best possible shape or clean the home for that matter. When sellers in attentiveness, on the other hand, may offer a huge profit to the appropriate buyer. When looking for a home, here are three things that may put you off but shouldn't stop you from making an offer, particularly if you love the property, layout, or the location. Number one odd wallpaper and dirty carpet. Today's purchasers usually prefer a house that is turnkey or move-in ready. They're too preoccupied with their everyday responsibilities to tackle a makeover, especially the constantly linked millennial house buyer who is always on the go. But painting walls and carpets isn't always time consuming or pricey, and you may even complete these tasks before moving in. If a seller refuses to replace their shag carpet or paint the inside of the home in a natural color, they're doing themselves a major disservice. Painting your home's walls and finishing the floors or replacing the carpet will not break the bank, and you may get started on it right away. The end result will be a like new house in which you can move in. Number two, rooms being used in an unusual way. It's not that out of the ordinary to see a house's dining area converted into a full-fledged office. There are even homes with a bedroom that serves as a walk-in closet. I once visited a home where the first floor bedroom was converted into a wine tasting area. Just because the current homeowner uses these spaces in a way that suits them, doesn't mean you have to. Many potential buyers will be turned off by the aforementioned traits, but you should also forget that the seller still lives there while shopping for a property. After they've moved out, the dining area will be a simple room that only needs the right light fixture and table. In less than a day, the walk-in closet can be made into a bedroom again. Number three, a too strong seller presence. A buyer will have a hard time envisioning themselves in a property if it's full of the owner's photographs, certificates, or other personal belongings. The greatest properties for purchasers are those that are neutral and devoid of any owner-specific features. Worse still, if the seller is present at a showing, it makes everyone feel uncomfortable. When buyers feel compelled to act in a certain manner, they feel like they have to be on their best behavior and can't look around the house, dig deep into closets or cabinets, or express themselves freely about what they see. A home that's over-personalized or in which the seller was continuously present may garner a negative reputation over time. A clever buyer will take advantage of this and buy it for a lower price. Sellers who deliberately or unintentionally sabotage their home sale leave money on the table for the buyer, but typical consumers today have a hard time seeing through a seller's messiness, personalized design style, or custom changes. If you come across a home online that's in a fantastic location and has the right floor plan, pay it a visit. Ignore the things you can change, and think about whether or not you can make the home your own. Home buyers shouldn't let some of these more weird things turn them off from a property, as they can often be fixed or changed. There are many positives to home buying, such as getting your own place and being able to make it your own. If you find a home that's in a great location and has a right floor plan, don't hesitate to visit. I hope you found this video informative, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch. 